I'm going to talk about water, humidity and building culture. Now, um, I'm from the UK and I'm now living in Japan and there's a few differences between building culture in these two countries. Um, of course, there's, there are differences between any any countries anywhere in the world. Um, Japan is an island on one side of the Eurasian continent. Um, the UK is an, an island on the other side of the Eurasian continent. Uh, and there are some things, some things are very different, some things are similar. Um, these are a few differences. Um, the climate is very different. Um, Japan has hot, humid summers, dry winters. Uh, the UK is kind of the opposite. The summers are usually dry and the winters are a bit damp. Um, earthquakes are frequent in Japan and unusual in the UK. The traditional building material in Japan is wood and in the UK is probably stone or brick. Um, and there are many, many, many more differences in the, the building culture and what kind of houses people like and what they want. Um, people in Japan tend to like new houses, whereas in the UK people seem to like old houses. Um, if people want a different house, in Japan people will knock down the house and build a new one, whereas in the UK they'll tend to sell up the house and move. Um, houses are consumable in Japan and in the UK houses are capital. So in um, in Japan the uh, the value is usually in the land and the house often can reduce the value of the land whereas in the UK the, the value is in the building and the land is just something that the building has to sit on. Um, this is this is an example of a of a house in the UK. Um, uh, you can see this this house that the um, it has been built on. So the part on the left is the original house, which is uh, about eighteen twenties. Um, so it's. Um, that's not a really old house in the UK. There are many houses that old. Um, it has been built onto. The original house was just a, what's probably called a two up, two down. So there are two rooms downstairs, two rooms upstairs, a kind of a box. Um, chimney, each end has a chimney. And uh, it's been built on. And the extra part was built on. Um, this is actually 1990s. Um, and it's been built to be quite similar to the original building. So same kind of stone has been used, um, similar materials on the roof. Uh, the windows are the same kind of size, um, although there are more windows on the uh, 1990s part. Um, this was actually the original, um, the original building. And um, it has since um, been built on even, this is actually my, my brother's house. Um, and he, he's built more, um, since, uh, in the last, last few years. So there's an extra buildings. So this is, this is a fairly typical of houses and buildings in the UK that they will be added onto. Um, whereas probably in Japan, this would have been knocked down and rebuilt and then knocked down again and rebuilt again. And perhaps several times, um, since the... 200 years ago when it was probably built. Uh, here's another example of a, a UK house. Uh, this originally was a barn, so this was a building for animals originally, made of stone, and it's been renovated and converted uh, for people to live in, which is difficult to imagine in Japan. Um, the more differences then, the designs of buildings in Japan often start with the rooms, and rooms are then put together uh, to make the building. Whereas in the UK, it's more likely that the whole building is thought of and um, the rooms are then fitted within the building. 
Um, standards in Japan are, are not very strict. They're quite lax. Um, they're not so well enforced. Um, in Japan, UK, oh, in, in UK rather, um, building standards are strict and they are enforced. So you need to follow the rules. The rules are quite precise and you need to follow them. If not, they will come down and sometimes ask you to take the building down. Um, and so re rede redecoration, renovation um, is a recently uh, is a trend in Japan for redecorating, renovating. Uh, in the UK, it's probably a regular part of having a building. People will, every few years, they'll repaint the house or rebuild the house or put an extension on or conversion. Um, central heating then um, in Japan is probably a luxury. Most houses in Japan do not have central heating. In the UK, it's standard. Most houses do have central heating. Uh, there's a switch somewhere in the house which will heat the house. Um, there's a boiler. Usually the UK has a boiler full of a tank full of hot water in the house. Um, often you see in Japan outside the house that there are boilers. Um, insulation is increasing recently in Japan. Um, in the UK, it's com you, you cannot build without insulation in the UK. If you do a renovation, you need to add insulation um, and it's compulsory to have. Uh, there, are, there are some areas that are similar. Um, one area is uh, self-ownership. Um, in some countries... Many, many people, most people own their own houses. In some countries, many people rent. Um, and in Japan and the UK, self-ownership is relatively high. It's around 60% in both countries. Um, the heating, of course, Japan, there is a big range of climates from Hokkaido down to Okinawa. Um, and the UK, there's some difference between the north and the south. Um, but... Matsumoto and Manchester have both have similar heating loads. So the amount of heating you need over the year is a similar level. Um, and another thing that's similar is um, floor area per person. People come from America to Japan and say how small the houses are. Um, in fact, houses in Japan are about the same size per person as houses in the UK. Um some some countries have much much bigger houses um japan and the uk and don't have such big houses um in neither case and and there are some things that are similar everywhere um so um everywhere in the world uh people building a house if possible they want to spend money nobody wants to spend more money and if possible, probably people would prefer a larger house than a smaller house. If they could have this room a little bit bigger, people probably would want it a bit bigger. Um, and everywhere people want to keep warm in the winter. When it's cold, people want to stay warm. And when it's hot, people want to stay cool. Uh, this is a universal. Um, people want low running costs. Nobody wants to have to pay a high bill every month um, and I think people want their building to last a long time so if you're building a building you don't want to think oh well this is going to be thrown away in 20 years you'd rather it lasted 30 years or 40 years or longer um, storage space is another thing that often um, when you see designs of buildings or go to showrooms for houses uh, often they have no storage space um, and often people have lots of stuff and they need places to put their stuff and um, that's something people want. Uh, people want to keep their houses clean um, and another thing of course people don't want condensation. Nobody wants water to build up anywhere in their house. Um, also other things that are universal um, um, science is the same whether you're in Japan or in the UK or in Germany or in China. Uh, it's the same science. Physics is the same. Um, carbon dioxide, unfortunately, 
is the same. If I put out some carbon dioxide in Japan, it will go into the atmosphere and it's everybody's atmosphere. Uh, the carbon dioxide doesn't have little flags on it. Um, and humidity is the same. Humidity is, Japan is humid in the summer, um, but the humidity is always between 0% and 100%. There, there's no magic humidity um, in any country. 